Second's AC. He's, okay. Yeah. Um, oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, these two, fun fact, they're childhood friends, so. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. The, I believe they've, like, grew up together, so. And they practice together all the time, so I'm curious to see how this goes down. Fall or Ryder has actually beat Fallen once, so. Oh, okay. He, he has won, <laughs> <laughs> as far as I know, in his record. Oh. Sometimes I wish my childhood friend would still play Smash in the 80s. <laughs> I wish my childhood friend was, you know, a PGR player. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all, man? <laughs> oh, wow. Uses the hitbox of uh, Luma afterwards on the lunar landing, I think, to be able to continue his aggression against Ryder. He's got him at the ledge. And that looked a oh, little okay. sketch. Yeah, very sketch. <laughs> Ryder able to get rid of that Luma, so that does open up falling just a little bit. I like how Fallen was trying to catch him, though. Uh, Fallen's playing really smart at the ledge right now. Um, Yuzu usually doesn't have too many ledge options. The b best he can do is drop down jump or jump from the ledge, and both of them can get pretty predictable, and so Fallen's staying at the right position away. He can mix up a little bit with neutral getup and uh, getup attack, but because of his size, it doesn't really work out too well. So Fallen's playing the ledge game very well against Mewtwo so far. All right, Fallen looking for the opportunity to just take another, take a stock from Ryder, and he's able to find it. What was? Uh, that was that was unfortunate. <laughs> I mean, he just, he just tried to get rid of Luma, man, and then Luma's like, "Oh no, I'm going up there," and then you're taking you're you're coming with me. So yeah. Fallen just <laughs> able to turn his disadvantage into an advantage, and that's the hard part sometimes. It looked like he was going for the dash or the smash attack. That's yeah, why it looks like it in. happened like that too. So. Oh my God. He got the grab, and even though he got the forward throw and it was hitting, like Luma was just in the perfect spot, just hitting you two out of the, uh, the rest of the um, shadow balls from the forward throw. Yep. Yeah, see, uh, it pretty much all Ryder's going to do for the most part is like try to do a jump from the ledge option. Oh, oh no, that's, no. That, that sucks. <laughs> that, that's, that's a tough spot. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. Sometimes you jump towards the ledge and then you don't grab it immediately. Yeah. And so I think it has something to do with like how your back's facing it or something like That's, that. That, like that and also jump. Mewtwo's uh, very, very tall. Yeah, you're right. It's yeah. your, the way your back's facing is also very crucial. But Mewtwo is very tall, and the fact that his hurt box sticks out pretty well. Yeah. So that was unfortunate, but I mean, it looked like Fallen was still getting a pretty good pace of the match. So. Oh, shout outs to uh, E1IO. Just subscribe with a tier one sub, subscribe for 16 months. Thank you so much, man. Thank you very much. All right, here we go. Oh, <laughs> he just went through that shadow ball like it was nothing. I mean, I guess uh, I guess it looks like the Luma will, uh, again, the, the double hitbox is coming out. Uh, able to maintain his advantage and trip up Ryder, it looked like. Oh, okay. I mean, Ryder doing him a favor. You know what? We're... Childhood friends, I'm not gonna let you die like that, man. No, no, no. I think I think he had enough time to drift towards you the ledge. So? Yeah, 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 I think so. Like, I, don't, I feel like Fallen's not real, normally the type of person to mess up his angles like that. So, yeah. I'll, I'll give the benefit of doubt there. How about that? All right, I agree with you. I can agree. All right, but Fallen looking to set up this ledge guard opportunity, and I like how he even th toss out the forward smash too, knowing the fact that Luma was there on the ground to cover um, Ryder coming in from two spots. Yeah. Oh, that should probably. Be oh, never mind. I thought that was gonna be a punish, but it looks like that Fallen couldn't drift down. Fast enough. Alright, there's that forward air. Not able to. Oh my god, not able to get rid of uh, Rosalina, but it does get rid of Lumas. Yeah, so it's something. Yeah, both players are pretty much, not even percent, but both of them pretty much at kill percent. They are pretty light. Yeah, it looks like Ryder's trying to go for the grab, uh, but he's not going to be able to go for that up throw anymore because Luma can. Wow, Luma shot? That's interesting. Good yeah. patience from Ryder. Didn't try to go uh, follow him with an up air. He knew that even though Luma was on the ground, uh, Fallen could call back that Luma pretty fast. Yeah. Oh, okay. Caught him uh, sitting at the ledge a little bit too long, so Shadow Ball was able to clip there. Oh. Oh. Okay. That was sneaky DI, my friend. Uh, may okay, maybe maybe he was trying to DI for the DI mix up. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll give yeah, him the yeah. benefit of doubt again, okay? <laughs> because uh, you usually uh, DI for the unreactable one, and then. The IT the reactable one, but uh, fourth throw does take a while, so I don't know what, what happened there. So, who knows? Yeah, <laughs> they, it, it, I think I feel like it, he gave him Mankey's DI. Like you're right, he's probably trying to DI for the mix up, but in that process, like that one rider was yeah. like, oh, no may mix up. Yeah, maybe okay. maybe he blanked out and was like, oh shoot, I have to move back my DI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably the situation there. Yeah. Let's go for Dare to 
go for a harder punish than it looked like, but Fallen not able to get anything, but still, back throw him off. A little bit of pressure from Luma, retracts her back. Still not able to get too much off of it, though. Wow, that was that, I'm sorry, was that Fortnite or Nair? Because that Nair was like starting from the top. I think that was Nair. Yeah, yeah. it was Nair. Quite a pro like I said, that hitbox is pretty, quite an interesting arc, and that one, two to the forward smash gonna do the game. Yeah, jab, jab to forward smash. I mean, it works really well on floaties because they're just barely above the ground and then they have to do something before they go down, so. Fallen will be able to go up 2-0. Oh yeah, I'm so sorry. I was like, isn't the match over? But I forget where like a winner's semis. Don't worry, I forgot too. I just didn't say anything. <laughs> I was like, oh wait, they're not they're not getting up. Okay, this is I forgot, this is specified. That's not fair, man. You're just waiting for me to take the L for you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were gonna mention it, okay? <laughs> Alright, well Fallen is in the lead right now. 2-0. This is winner's semis. Oh wow, that was interesting. Used to launch up hitbox from Luma and then got a weak up air off of that. That was a little wonky there. All right, Fallen being pretty cautious right now. He does have a lot of lead against uh, that one, Ryder, but if he lets go of that lead, Ryder can definitely come back. I was playing very safely around this Luma, too. Like how he went for the down tilt, and that snipes out the Luma quite as well. All right, there we go. He's back on the ledge. Wow, he just <laughs> went through everything that Ryder was throwing out. He finally threw out the roll, though, and Ryder was oh. ready for it, and a great tech, too. No spike kickbox coming from Ryder. Yo, wow. my man's gonna get uh, pretty much get the weak hit of Spike, and that's gonna give Mewtwo a tough time to actually recover. Yeah, I don't know if it was just he stopped his like momentum to go up, or if he actually caught the jump as he was trying to get back up. But I think, I think he caught the jump. Yeah, that was very smart from Fallen. Regardless, just took his chance when he needed it. All right, Fallen doing a pretty good job right now with this lead. Like how he's just pretty much continuing. I feel that Ryder has to be careful though. And his aerial approaches are really, really tough right now at the moment because Fallen's doing a really good job of just stopping uh, Ryder from just using any aerial approach. So I feel that Ryder probably wants to approach a little bit more with Nair. Wow, he got jabbed into the grab up, up throw. Still not enough to do it, though. Oh, uh, and Luma's back on. So going to have to try and fight a little, again, a little bit again. All right, I like how Ryder's been using down tilt a lot. It's a pretty good poking tool, and it does a really good job actually just trying to hit Luma as well. Yeah. I like what Fallen did there. This could potentially be death. Okay, I like what Fallen did there. He used the B reverse of the Luma shot to be able to just slightly shift his uh, movement a bit, and it was enough to trip up Ryder and then discontinue the juggle opportunities. But Ryder in a tough spot. Wow, Ryder's still able to tech that. Oh, oh no. Wow. Mewtwo uh, recovered, <laughs> and he up B, and he was facing away from the ledge. Oh, oh no, that no. sucks. Yeah, and he uh, couldn't recover. If, if, he, if he just held left, he probably would have been able to drift there. But yeah. I, think, I think he just thought that he was about to recover go there way. anyway, so that sucked. Uh, oh, man, that's, that, that's really... Let me, like, get my controller so I can show you guys. So if you...